Chancellor Rishi Sunak said to be looking at cutting uh, the UK's ballooning foreign aid budget by potentially billions of pounds. Something I know is going to upset champagne socialists in Westminster, but I think would be a damn popular move for the government to make. Going to bring you all the very latest in this report, guys. But please start off by hitting the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss future reports. So I bring you all the very latest on this story and, of course, many others to come. So the Times have actually got this on their front page today. Foreign aid spending faces cut to pay the COVID crisis. And let's face it, with the pandemic, with the repeated lockdowns, the economy is not in a very good place at all. And let's just remember, last year the government spent £15 billion on foreign aid because of this ridiculous 0.7% target set out. Now, what the reports are saying today is that Rishi Sunak is looking at cutting that down to 0.5% of GDP from 0.7%. This would save around £5 billion. And before I get on to what the, the row inside government is looking like, let me just give you the background on this because a lot of rubbish gets spoken about on foreign aid. Let me actually give you the facts. Here's full fact in 2018 to give you the international comparison. In its latest release, full fact in 2018, the OECD said the UK spent the equivalent of 0.7% of GNI gross national income on aid in 2017. France spent around 0.4%. So that's 0.7% for the UK. France spent 0.4%, Italy and Canada about 0.3% and, and the Japan and the US spent roughly 0.2%. So the UK there, one example of the UK spending well above uh, as, a, as a proportion what other countries do. Here's another graphic, World Economic Forum graphic of spending in 2015. Look at this, way more than France, way more than Japan way more than the Netherlands, way more than Canada. So I want to show you that because the argument that the UK gives on a similar footing to other countries is just not true. We give away far more money than lots and lots and lots of other countries. Now, I personally think it's absolutely ridiculous that we've got this 0.7% figure. I mean, surely foreign aid should be done on the basis of looking at what is required, what is requested, what the money's for, how much it costs on a case-by-case -case basis. Not setting out some bizarre target because it makes people uh, living in affluent parts of London feel warm and fuzzy at night, giving ta British taxpayers the money away in such a way. Surely foreign aid should be operated in a way that is you look at each individual case rather than setting out an arbitrary figure and set amount of money each year that needs to be spent. I think it's absolutely obscene. And so we see in the times today with the tough economic times we're living in with Boris Johnson considering a temporary cut to the Britain's foreign aid spending to help repair the nation's COVID ravaged public finances. Ministers have drawn up plans to reduce the proportion of gross national income spent on aid from 0.7% to 0.5% saving billions the Times has learned. Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor, said to be pushing for the move uh, to be announced in next week's comprehensive spending review. His allies have insisted that the cut in the aid budget is a political necessity at a time when spending on domestic areas will be limited as a result of the pandemic. Boris Johnson wants the cut to be time limited only and insists in that aid spending returns to 0.7% as soon as 2022. Dominic Raab, the Foreign Secretary, said to be opposed to the move amid concerns about the impact on Britain's global standing. Apparently he made his views clear in September and he said the government was absolutely committed to the target and dismissed reports that could be cut as tittle-tattle. I would love to know. I have some idea, but let me know below in the comments, guys, what you think. Because I think a lot of politicians on this issue, especially given the very tough economic climate we're in, with people losing their jobs, are going to look at these, you know, fifth, the idea of giving billions and billions and billions away every year as utter, utter lunacy. So yeah, under the International Development Act, Britain has a legal duty to spend 0.7% of national income on foreign aid. Again, why is this not done on the basis of looking at each individual case and request rather than setting out this arbitrary 0.7% figure? It's truly bizarre. And as I showed you earlier, the amounts we're now giving away are far beyond what most other countries do. The PM's official spokesman yesterday reportedly refused to rule out cutting the 0.7% aid target. Asked if the government was committed to the target, the spokesman said, we've talked about needing to make sure we get value for money for the UK taxpayer and that aid is spent efficiently. The Times also report that earlier this year, 
Boris Johnson refused to rule out rewriting the foreign aid legislation to get rid of the commitment to the 0.7% target. Commitment to international spending rules, uh, which apparently are set by the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development. However, ministers believe, according to this Times report, that any change in legislation would be defeated in the Commons. Well, it's one of those things, isn't it? Are we really going to see a Conservative uh, majority government commit to keep giving such vast sums of money away? Let's see how that goes down at the next general election. I seriously doubt if the government had the bottle to actually go ahead and get rid of this ridiculous target and this huge amount of foreign spending that you would see MPs vote it down. What do you think in the comments, guys? Do you really think we'd see that? Now, this wasn't just a sole report because the Daily Mail also recently had a report a few days ago, I believe. Uh, Daily Mail, Rishi Sunak is pushing to temporarily shelve the 0.7% foreign aid target in spending review. They report that the Chancellor and the PM would meet this week to decide the fate of the international development budget and that Rishi Sunak wants to shelve the foreign aid target as he, as he struggles with the crisis in public finances, the Mail can reveal. And I say again, you know, last year this surpassed 15 billion quid. Now you expect to see fierce resistance from the Champagne Socialists, from the Westminster establishment, but this is another issue where are you going to see a Boris Johnson government be radical and take big choices and take on big arguments and win them and be in touch with the mood of the country? Again, especially during the very, very tough economic circumstances we now find ourselves in. Or are they going to pander to the Guardian writers, to the BBC, to the left-wing establishment who seem deeply determined to give away £15 billion plus of British taxpayers' money in a bizarre foreign aid target? It's again, one of those cases, one of those issues where you'll see really what Boris Johnson's government is made of. Now guys, I ask my supporters and do become a supporter, hit that join button, you'll get the new supporter badge next to your name. I'm doing a lot of readouts now. Uh, ask my supporters what they make, what their opinion on cutting the foreign aid budget, had a number of replies, so thanks so much for that. Louise saying, I think it should be stopped entirely. We have people in this country need, so why is our tax money being given away abroad instead of being used for them? I, you know, charity begins at home, doesn't it? Ian, yes, the cost of this government's pandemic measures make it imperative we do all we can to assist those in need in Britain first. And Darren saying, no, don't cut it, stop it completely. And I do think, again, it's like one of those issues, uh, as we had on, on, on Brexit for many years and leaving the EU for many years, on immigration and border controls. Foreign aid, one of those issues where um, those in Westminster do seem pretty out of touch with the mainstream British public mood. But it looks like it's being discussed. It looks like Rishi Sunak is pushing for billions to be cut from the foreign aid budget. We'll have to see what happens, guys, but you can rely on me on the West Monster channel to keep bringing you all the very latest. So if you have enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful and informative, please give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, of course, hit the bell, become a support by hitting the join button. And of course, as ever, thank you so much for watching.